Something about you feels so different Yeah, you mess me up inside It's like your energy was kissing my soul Back to life was living Now it feels like every part of me is dying Yeah Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Or welcome if you are new for today's motivation, I am going to be giving you some deep clean and declutter. We're going to be first starting off in this coat closet here. This closet always gets messed up and it's mainly because of the kids. They don't necessarily like to hang their stuff up, especially if they are in a rush. But today I just want to figure out a better system or a better way to organize things in there. So it just makes it easier for them and for me <laughs> to keep things straight. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I have to clear it out. So we're just going to be taking everything off the floor. We're going to be taking the coats from off the rack. I'm going to take this little um, basket organizer thing that I had in here that did zero to actually help me organize it. It just got buried underneath all the coats and nothing properly was even put in there and I'm just going to be doing a little bit of maintenance so I'm just going to be sweeping it's a lot of game pieces in here why there are game pieces in here I'm not really sure because there was no games in there so like I said this place just needs to be a little bit more organized so I got this cubicle from downstairs it is a nine cubicle like a three by three cubicle and I didn't record me putting it in here because honestly, I had a hard time. I don't know if it's coming up on camera, but this little coat closet actually is curved and that cubicle was square. So that is going to help me just keep things a little bit more organized because, excuse me, a little bit more organized because things have a place. And when things have a place, you know where to put it. So now that I got that cleaned off, I'm just going to be separating things. I have these things, uh, what are they called? The, just the cubes, <laughs> the organizer bins from the Dollar Tree. I had these for a while. They're not my favorite, but again, I didn't I want to spend any money. So I'm just using what I have. And because they're not ripped or anything like that, I'm going to con continue to use them. Just put them in a place that will not get a lot of use all the times like in the kids rooms so I just separated the hats gloves and scarves and then I just put those at the top next I'm going to be adding the games we have so many games in this house and I just wanted a centralized place to have them I still have more in the basement but I wanted to have the main ones at least up here so the kids can have because we do have game night at least once a week at least once a week it just makes it so much easier just to have it in a centralized location so now that i got that put away i'm just going to be adding the kids coats back into the closet and that is the only coats that i'm going to be adding in this closet i'm going to put the adult coats somewhere else um that'll be another video but they're no longer going to be in the closet i felt like they took up too much space so now this is going to be the kids coat closet so it's going to be their coats hats gloves scarves and then we have of course the games that you saw and they still hang their book bags up when they come home from school that is still being hung in this closet and that is all that is going to be going in this closet so hopefully fingers crossed we can keep it clean and organized So this is what we're looking like. Again, we do have a lot more games downstairs, but I think I'm just going to keep those downstairs and just keep the main ones up here. So I'm very happy with how it turned out and let's see how it stays. Now moving on to like the foyer area or the entryway. This is just a mess. <laughs> There's no excuse of why it's a mess, but it's just a mess. So this chair I had actually moved from the family room if you had watched um, my video where I like kind of redid the family room and we took this chair out and now I'm just going to be putting it away. Um, it's actually too big to go in the family room and now that my grandmother is no longer with us um, it kind of doesn't go with anything and no one really sits in a chair that was just her chair solely so 
we're going to be putting in what was her room we are going to be reorganizing and redoing that room as far as making it into a library and no longer a bedroom so be on the lookout for that video um i'm not even sure if i want to film it because it's still a little touchy subject for me to kind of be in there but if i don't film it just know that we are going to be turning it into a library from a bedroom so i don't know if you guys can tell by the way my videos are coming out but i have been in a mood to kind of like refresh the whole house or redo the whole house or rearrange the furniture in each room i don't know where this sudden need for change is coming from but i'm doing it in this entryway as well so i'm just going to be trying out different decors and seeing what i like again i'm not trying to spend any money i just want to shop what we have like rotate some things away around just so i can give it a fresh look Every If you guys have not tried this Karma water, I highly suggest you try it. It is a probiotic water and it is so good. It comes in a couple of different flavors. It has like strawberry, peach, blueberry, and I'm pretty sure it has another flavor. Um, I'm not sure, but those were the strawberry ones. I did get a pack from um, Sam's that came four, even three or four different flavors in the pack. That's when I first tried it. And then once I tried it, I went ahead and headed on to Amazon and bought me a couple of cases of them because they are so good. And the whole purpose of their whole little setup is they claim that it is more effective for probiotics to be, you know, mixed and drinking immediately. And a lot of the probiotic drinks that we have, it's already diluted and been sitting in water and it's less active. I'm just, you know, it makes sense what they're saying. And the way that their bottle is set up is the probiotic is in the cap and then the water is in the bottom. And once you push the top in all the probiotics goes to the water and it mixes together. I mean, it's pretty creative if I say so myself. If you guys are new here, hello, welcome. My name is Rashida. I am a stay at home, work from home mom of four, four beautiful children. We have Giselle, Malachi, Nasir, and Naomi. And here on this channel, we like to provide you with all types of motivation. We have cleaning motivation, laundry motivation, mommy motivation, just realistic motivation to help you get you through your day, week, month, and year. But if that is something that you're interested in, please consider joining our family. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button and make sure your notifications are on so you will not miss an upload. So what do you guys think about this setup here i didn't do too much again i just shopped around my house i already had this vase you guys seen this vase before this vase was actually here maybe last year it was in this area i forgot what i had actually in the vase but now all i did was take some tree branches from outside we recently had an ice storm so it's a lot of branches in the yard and i pretty much took like the tall skinny ones there were some thick beefy ones but i just felt like those were too dramatic and i really liked the look like i looked on pinterest for like foyer tables circle tables and stuff like that and they all had uh, like the main piece being a large vase with some branches with like flowers or just greenery in general and then i started to look up where i can get that stuff from why would i look at michael's and it was like 20 dollars a branch baby i got branches outside so that's what we did uh, i think it's a dramatic again maybe i will do a diy where i can glue some like little flowers on to make it look a little more 
springtime but for right now i kind of like it like i said it's dramatic this is the only book that i can really find <laughs> uh, i don't have um like a home decor like magnolia books or any kind of like big books that i really want to have on display but this one works too because again it ties in with the blue that's in the rest of the room and then i just had this little uh this other vase to just tie it all together but yeah let me know down below what you think of this little setup or what you would have done differently the last thing on my agenda of things to do for today is to go ahead and tackle this family room. Again, it is not a mess. I already recently did a like deep clean of the family room. So I just want to pick up a little bit in here. I have a big, tall, overflowing basket of clean laundry that I need to put up. But what is new? I always have laundry to put up. There's, there's no excuse. It's just always going to be laundry once you come to this channel. It's just... Laundry and me are pretty much have a love-hate relationship. But like I said, I just want to go ahead and pick up a little bit and get the things out of here that don't belong. A quick wipe down and a vacuum. And that is pretty much it. That is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and let me know in the comments what videos you would like to see this upcoming spring, summer. I would love to create what you guys are interested in. As always, I really appreciate you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next one.